Good day. In this special issue of the project legislation news provided by the Minister of Justice, we would like to present a summary of the legislative acts adopted in 2021, which is coming to an end. The first document we commented on was the Presidential Decree on additional measures to provide the population with housing through the allocation of mortgage loans based on market principles. According to the decree, the construction of apartment houses has begun as a part of a new procedure for providing housing to the population through mortgage credits based on market principles. It should be noted that the procedure for allocating credits for the construction and reconstruction of individual housing has been introduced in all regions. In order to receive the subsidy, the income of the applicants' close relatives may also be included in the total income. Remarkably, from June 1st, a simplified procedure for the payment of subsidies for the initial and interest payments was introduced. In addition, a presidential decree issued in early December abolished the practice of setting the maximum area of an apartment for the payment of mortgage subsidies. The decree stipulates that from December 10, 2021, fixed amount of 32 million Uzbek som shall be paid as subsidy to cover part of the initial payment, and also subsidies for the part of the interest payments in excess of 10% shall be paid for the first five years. According to the decree in 2022, a total of 43,000 mortgage credits will be allocated for the purchase of apartments and the construction and reconstruction of individual houses. Let's continue. Another important document that we commented on was the law on freedom of conscience and religious organizations. One of the next important documents is the law on freedom of conscience and religious organizations. The law defines the concept of freedom of conscience. According to the law, freedom of conscience is guaranteed constitutional right of every person to confess any religion or not to confess any religion. According to the law, the use of religion for the following purpose is not allowed. Changing the existing constitutional system by force, coming out against the sovereignty, territorial integrity and security of the Republic, as well as the constitutional rights and freedoms of its citizens, advocating war and social, national, racial and religious hostility, and encroaching on the health and morality of the people, violation of civil harmony, dissemination of disabling information, to cause confusion among the population and commit other actions directed against the individual, society and the state. In addition, citizens of the Republic of Uzbekistan and other persons regardless of their religious affiliation, are equal before the law and are not allowed to impose any preference or restrictions on the religion or religious beliefs or others. According to the law, in the Republic of Uzbekistan, religion is separated from the state. The state doesn't interfere in the internal affairs of religious organizations. The law also provides grounds for denying registration to religious organizations and suspending their activities. During the year, we commented that according to the next document, the requirement for 18 types of information and documents from the population of entrepreneurs was abolished. This document is the Presidential Decree on additional measures to create more favorable conditions for the population and businesses to use public services to reduce bureaucratic barriers in this regard. The decree provides the following benefits for the provision of public services and the regulation of procedures from 1 June 2021. These are registration of seven types of civil status acts, for example, birth, marriage, divorce, death, change of name and family name of a person, paternity and child adoption, medical examination of married persons, issuance of biometric passport for travel abroad is carried out on the basis of extraterritorial principle. In addition, when performing notarial acts, all information related to the civil registry office will be obtained through the electronic system without requiring from citizens. Furthermore, 
The procedures uh, for issuing duplicates of documents approved by QR code was abolished. Duplicates of these documents are now available free of charge through a single port of interactive public services. In short, the requirement for 18 types of information and documents established by more than 450 pieces of legislation from the population and entrepreneurs has been abolished. And these documents will be obtained. In short, the requirement of 18 types of information and documents established by more than 450 pieces of legislation from the population and entrepreneurs has been abolished. And these documents will be obtained by the authorized state body through the e-government platform. Based on the next document, the authority of Hokinets to directly allocate lands was abolished. In this regard, the presidential degree on measures to ensure equality and transparency in land relations, reliable protection of land rights and their transformation into market assets was adopted. According to the decree, from August 1, 2021, the following land powers of Hokimats were abolished. Direct allocation of land, use, reserve, attachment, allocation for landscaping or other disposal of land, determination, recognition, change, cancellation of land rights by district and city Hokimats, transfer of irrigated lands to non-irrigated lands or other land categories, non-irrigated agricultural land to other land categories, allocation of land for community gardening, viticulture and gardening, as well as auxiliary agriculture, establishment of investment obligations in respect of privatist land and other obligations restricting the free disposal of private property. According to the document, the initiative of the state authorities to directly allocate land plots or otherwise establish privileges and exceptions is prohibited. According to another important document, amendments and additions were made to the Code of Administrative Responsibility. The amendments provide that the offender may be exempt from liability if he will compensate the damage and reconcile with the victim. According to the amendments, the person who has committed an administrative offence under a number of articles of the code may be released from the responsibility if he admits his guilt, compensates the damages and reconciles with the victim. Victim or his legal representative may submit an application for reconciliation at any stage of proceeding but before the court decision. Also, the person who has committed an administrative offence within a year repeatedly will not be released from responsibility upon reconciliation of the parties. Also, I would like to mention the other changes introduced in the court under consideration. Drivers will be allowed to talk on the phone with Bluetooth technology and devices that do not require the use of the hands while driving. Also, the responsibility for installation and monitor in the front of the car interior is abolished. The last document we commented on during the year was related to the introduction of child benefits for low-income families. In this regard, the presidential decree on measures to further expand the scope of financial assistance to low-income families and the right against poverty was adopted. The last document we commented on the during the year was related to the introduction of the child benefits for low-income families. In this regard, the presidential decree on measures to further expand the scope of financial assistance to low-income families and the fight against poverty was adopted. According to the decree, from September 1, 2021, instead of the pension for families with children under 14 and the child care allowance until the child reaches the age of 2, a child allowance was introduced for low-income families. The following procedure will be followed in determining the child benefit. The age of children to be considered will be increased from 14 to 18 years and the payment period will be increased from 6 to 12 months. When assigning a child benefit, the procedure for determining its amount based on the number of children in the family. The decree also provides financial assistance to single citizens, low-income families who don't have children or whose children are over 18 years old. At the same time, from September 1, 2021, the monthly amounts of child benefits and financial assistance to low-income families are set as follows. For one child from 6 to 18 years old, 250,000 sums. For one small child under 3 years old, 325,000 sums. Additional. 
for the second child of the family 150,000 sums, for each third and subsequent child of the family 100 sums. Monthly amount of financial assistance uh, for low income families 380,000 sums. By the way, you can get acquainted with the full text of these documents on the website lex.us as well as news on legislation, so the Telegram channel, legal information of the Minister of Justice. We introduce you with important legislative acts which is adopted during the year. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.